Okay, welcome to part one, where we're going to create the initial shape that we will eventually turn into the soccer ball. To get started, it's important to learn how to work with the Houdini workspace and the three panes you will use the most. The scene view lets you create objects interactively, the parameter pane lets you edit node properties, and the network view lets you work directly with the nodes. So from the website, you should have downloaded the soccer ball underscore lesson directory, uh, put it in your Houdini projects directory, and make a copy of it. Now once you have that, what we want to do is start by going file set project. So here in our in our project directory there's the soccer ball underscore lesson and there's nothing in here right now. Uh, there, there are some textures in there which you can't see in this view because we're saving project files. We just press accept. Now we're going to go file uh, save as and in here we'll just call this soccer ball 01 dot hip. Hip is the name of the scene file for Houdini. So now as we work we'll be saving into that directory and then all of our sort of file connected files will all work together. Things like render where we render out, where our textures are, etc. etc. will all be set up. So let's go into this the scene view here where we talked about working actively. We're going to press C. We're going to create geometry. We're going to get a box. We're going to move that and press enter. When we press enter, it puts it the origin. We could have clicked somewhere else on the uh, in space, but the, the origin is always a good place to start. Now, while we do this, it adds a node, one node, object level node here. And if we double click into there, it's, it's also, also got a geometry level node. So there's two nodes that were created by that the creation of this. Now just as a summary, let's talk a little bit about our view tools. Uh, to tumble, if we're in this view tool right here, we can just use left mouse button, middle mouse button to track, and right mouse button to dolly in and out. But assuming you're in another tool, like let's say the select tool, in that case you can either use the space bar and tumble around, or you can press the alt key and tumble around. So there's two options there. And of course, space bar, middle mouse button tracks, and you dolly with the right mouse button. While you do this, is if you're out here and you press space bar H, uh, you'll home that view. And if you bring this uh, construction grid up here, space bar H will go out to that larger grid. Now this is a construction grid that you could directly snap to and work with. Uh, we're not using that right now, but it might come into play later. Right now, this is a visual grid just to help, to help us get organized in. So if we press spacebar H right now, um, or spacebar A, we'll get that. Now, if we select this, we have two options. We want to go inside it. We could press I to go into it as one option, uh, or we could go double click to dive into this. Now, if we select the box node, and then go to this handle tool right here. This gives us tool uh, handles that we can manipulate as we work with this. So if we press the shift key and we pull on here, uh, we can resize it like this. Now if we want to go back to the upper level, you can do a couple different ways. You can press U to go up, double click to go in, or you can click this object level there and that will pop it up. And you, and you can do that anywhere. So if I'm up here, I can pop up to the object level there, and these three panes are connected um, in, in how they and they work together. Let's go S for the select tool, and then we're going to press 4, which gives us primitive selection. And you can see that if you right click on here, we've got points, edges, primitives, vertices, etc, etc. So we're going to use primitives for this. And then we're going to go C, model, polygons, poly extrude. Press N, enter, and now we get a handle, and we can pull that out. Now, we can do them all together, or we can say, let's do individual components. So we can actually say, okay, we want to extrude out those individually. And right up here, you've actually that menu that we had there, uh, you can also actually do that here. So com connected or individual, sometimes that's right where you need it up there. So we want to put this to a distance of, 
let's say 0 0.4 and as you see everything's going off the normals of the original faces that they come in. So now we're going to press N again which selects all the faces and this time we're going to use the tab key. So this is another way of getting tools in Houdini. So you can click on the shelf uh, or you can press tab and when you use the tab menu you can start to type out so if you know the tool you're looking for so subdivide tab subdivide I can press enter and get that so that works out quite quite well in this case here let's set the depth to 2 and we've got a little sort of semi smooth object here now the case of the subdivide node in here uh, it actually just adds more polygon so you still see that it's faceted on the side. Um, you'd actually have to press Shift plus to go full subdivide or Shift minus to go back to just polygon. So that's something we can maybe look at later. Everything we've done so far has created a node. And this is important. So if we click on poly extrude, for instance, we can actually get that, that those handles back and continue to work. So we're displaying this end, but we're working with this. Or we could go back to the original box, press the Shift key and, you know, do that again so that that history we can go back we can also display them so we can say well let's go back and look at it here or let's go back to the poly extrude and focus on that or we can set the display flag here and see the end result so there's a lot of playing around and you can even like if you took this node out we were subdividing just the box and we can put that back in and now we're subdividing the poly extrude so this is where the node network in Houdini gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you work with and make shapes. Okay, so that's the end of this part of the lesson. Uh, in the next part, we're going to actually turn this little blob into a soccer ball.